And a very warm welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show as we enter the final frontier on this Friday morning. Also, live with the Fresh at Five team. They join us for a takeover. They're having a good time, plus we're feeding them good stuff. But anyway, let's uh, get on to the news of the day. Now, one of the great things uh, at the final frontier is that we can try and uh, take a glimpse into what the future might actually yeah. look like. And we look forward to things like, you know, Mars colonists, mo uh, moon rover drivers, and even asteroid miners in the not-too-distant future. And back to talk to us about the space economy in general and in particular the potential enormous asteroid mining industry that we might see coming to the fore is Jono Weltman from the Foundation for Space Development. Exciting things there, Jono. Very exciting stuff, yeah. My first question when I asked you just now is, why on earth would we even want to mine asteroids? What, are we bored? Well, the big, the big problem is we live at the bottom of a well, in, in a gravity sense. So to get, just to get to space, just that first 300 kilometers up into space. Yeah. There's the same fuel as to go another 300 million kilometers. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so our big problem is that everything that we actually create for space now is part of the Earth economy. We build it here and we carry it up. Uh -huh. And if we want to expand our colonies, if we want to get to Mars, if we want to have a space economy, we've got to start building stuff in space. And to do that, the first thing we need is fuel. And the best fuel we can actually find is simple hydrogen and oxygen, okay. which is our soap. Water. Yes, yes, and H2O. There are H2O on all of these asteroids. We have three types of asteroids. One of them is a carbonaceous asteroid, and that carries water, ice water. And we can turn that into fuel. So that's the first thing we want to get out there in mind, is, is to go and create fuel so we don't have to carry it all with us. I'm, I'm thinking that the, the costs, the operational costs of this are astronomical at the very least. Do we know enough about these asteroids to know how much water is contained on them such that it's actually economically viable to send a probe or a mining drone to these asteroids and bring back the resource? Absolutely. We visited the asteroids before and we actually have missions ongoing at the moment, like OSIRIS-REx, which is on its way to a a carbonaceous asteroid, and Hayabusa yeah. as well. And, and fortunately, government's paying for that science and research so that industry can then identify the, the right type of asteroids for our needs and, and build on that, build yeah. on the benefits of what government has done in, in science and research. And these asteroids that we're looking to mine, are they between the Mars and Jupiter belt, and what's the relevance of them being in that belt or not? Look, originally the asteroid is, that, that are in that belt is a failed planet because gr the gravity of Jupiter was too much for all of this material to form into a planet. Okay. And occasionally Jupiter gets a little bit closer to Mars and pushes these asteroids out. And those asteroids orbit elliptically and come very close to Earth. Yeah. And it's those near-Earth asteroids that we can harvest in the beginning. Yeah. And from there, we can get all the materials. We can get the fuel in the form of water. We can get pre precious metals wow. for currency. And we can get um, all, the, all the components we need to start manufacturing in space. And you were saying earlier on that there are already some eight-plus uh, companies that are investing in asteroid mining with yeah. big-time investors there. So job potentials. What, what are we looking at in the future? What kind of jobs could come out of this industry? Look, we're going to see the obvious jobs like uh, asteroid um, mining engineers, asteroid scientists and researchers. There could be cool jobs like um, uh, rig controllers or uh, celestial body resource locators. Or, yeah. Yeah, very cool stuff that could come out of this. And believe it or not, there's, there's qualifications and degrees that will be coming soon for oh exactly that. I wonder if the miners will still be singing Shoshulosa while they're mining their asteroid. I don't know. That's just my imagination. But Jono, thank you very much thank for the you. update. Really appreciate it. See you next week. See you next week. Awareness. Awareness is the fear of success. Straight on. We'll